Hello everybody, it's me, Narrator. How's it going? Uh, today is something, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's something. I didn't think it would happen again, but here we go. Uh, I have my mom. Hey, everybody. Yeah. Today, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing my mom because I, as you know, I was in the military for four years. Yes. I was in the army. I left you. Yes, you Hilarious. Okay. And there's a lot of times where like, there was a lot of stupid stuff that happened that you didn't know about. <laughs> and lots I don't want to know about. Exactly. <laughs> so there was a, uh, we're gonna go down the top 10 most ridiculous military rules, customs, like courtesy, that kind of stuff. Okay. And I will explain to you, I'll explain to you what it have is and what happened and all that jazz. Okay. All right, so the first rule, you are not allowed to put our hands in our pockets. Then why did they make pockets? Thank you. That's the question I asked myself. Imagine in Germany, it is negative 10 degrees, it is snowing, and I cannot put my hands in my pockets. That is crazy. Why would they even put the pockets in the uniforms if you're not allowed to use them? You literally just asked the question that every single service member ever has asked. Because they gave us gloves instead of pocket. Like, we could put our oh, phone and our wallet and keys in our pockets, but we were not allowed to put our hands in our pockets because it seemed unprofessional. Okay. I don't get that, but okay. Really Super stupid. dumb. It's very stupid. All right. Do you agree with this, yes or no? No, I don't agree with that. That's cool. Crazy. All right. We, every single one of these, I'm going to see if you agree or disagree oh, with these rules. I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to disagree with all of them, but that's okay. Yeah. Number okay. two, reflective belts on everything and everyone. Every time we would go outside for like training in the morning, we'd have to wear a super bright reflective belt. Every time we would have to move like any kind of heavy machinery that required a lot of people, we would have to wear a reflective belt. Why isn't it just built into your uniform then? Well, number one, we wouldn't want enemies to okay. see a gigantic... No, I mean for around base. Just a uniform with reflective tapes <laughs> yes. on it just for to be on base. Well, yeah. Why not? You did sweats and put reflective tape on your sweats when you were a child. Yeah, but that was for raving. That's different. I'm just saying. <laughs> yes, I used to rave as a child, everyone. Get over it. Well, it's true. <laughs> but yeah, this is literally, it's it's just dumb. Okay. It's safety first, though. Come on. But, as a mom. Okay, like, but what, do you agree or disagree with this? Yeah, I agree. Safety first. We did put a reflective tape belt on our Christmas tree once. Colorful. Yeah, so Santa could see it. I'm sure he came. I'm sure he stopped by. He didn't. No, he did too. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. But I flew home for Christmas. I was the present. I Anytime was. Anytime you came home, that was a present. Aww. All right, here, here we go. Haircuts. Oh my. Ooh. First That's of all, ugly. holy shit. That is a get really your, bad haircut. Get your. F money back that looks like a barracks job like that yeah somebody that doesn't know how to cut hair no cut that, that guy's hair literally <laughs> head bowl holy crap and it's not even straight no they it looks like it was done with like yeah, safety scissors i don't even know that's not okay haircuts in the army were like every week i mean and you remember that because my dad was a marine so yes. a lot of these you'd I probably get. get and i actually cut your dad's hair but it looked much better than that yeah no that that, was that terrible that looks like a wrong end of a dip and dot <laughs> i don't know that looks like the bottom end of a hershey's kiss all right here we go this shit is so dumb special parking privileges for colonels generals and senior enlisted i get it they did a lot more than us but at the same time everywhere you go on base they have like a spot yeah. that you can just like stroll up to the front so is that kind of like employee of the month parking you get to yeah park, you know yeah close to the but it's just like oh you've been an officer for so long here you go hmm. all right i mean i get it but it's like ugh. how come i'm the one doing all the grunt work and ground pounding and shit but then i have to walk the farthest away but the people that sit on their ass and do <laughs> office shit just get to stroll up well, to the front and go you in shape. yeah but it <laughs> gave me freaking arthritis in my back at 26. i am i know stupid seniority so dumb do you agree with that i don't really d agree i understand why they do it yeah but i don't agree with it everybody should just park wherever man just give me a parking spot like yeah. come on oh <laughs> <laughs> I hate it so much. You are not allowed to walk on the grass ever unless you are mowing it. And the picture is, of course, of someone mowing their lawn with the belt. With the PT reflective belt. So if you're why doing... are you not allowed to walk on grass? Because it has to look pristine. Uh, 
it has to look good all the time. Well, I was thinking it was because they didn't want you to like make it look like you're cutting corners or like get somewhere faster. Oh yeah, like literally the only way we were allowed to touch grass okay. is if we were mowing it or we did like PT on it, that's it. If you're not ever allowed to walk on it, then how did you do PT on it? Because if you're doing physical training on it, they don't care. But if you are just like on well, your normal day to day and you just walk sense. on the grass, they're like, that's unprofessional. I don't get it. I know. This is what we had to deal with. We can't walk on grass. Yeah. We can't put our hands in our pockets. Uh, they recently changed this, but we usually were not allowed to grow beards. Oh, they changed that? If you're Nordic. Oh. And, and like a certain religious descent. It's so dumb that like, cause like, here's the thing. What do you think personally is more threatening, like more intimidating? A guy walking up to you with a reflective belt on, clean shaved baby face, or super camo guy that's blending into the woods, full beard face paint, <laughs> and charging at you with the intensity of a bear? Yeah. I'll Why do we need to shave? We are the only army that does it. Well, it's professional. That's what they're gonna tell you. That's why I left. <laughs> you can't have a beard. Shut up. Ooh, I hate this one. <laughs> oh, this is bullshit. I get the whole standing at parade rest when you're talking to senior service members was like a whole thing. I hated this so much because there were certain NCOs that would that like just wouldn't care and they would talk to you like a normal guy. Right. Like you would still call them sergeant and give them respect. But the whole thing of like having to do this shit, you're like, all right, so I'm gonna talk like this the entire time that I'm addressing you. It doesn't matter if you're talking to me about something important or just what's at lunch today. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I just have to stand like this the whole time we're talking. I just have to look like an idiot. That's just showing that you are lower in rank. Yeah, and, and here's my thing about that though. What if this was like we were deployed yeah. in like a real life situation? They would see me walk up to you and do this to show that you're a high ranking official. So. Bing, bing, bing. Thank you. <laughs> now you just have a big target. Why? I don't know. <sighs> anyway, well, anyway. Feel better? Uh huh. Okay. Admittedly, some leaders are more stringent about this than others, like I said, but parade rest is, yeah, feet apart, hands, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, see, junior service members under every circumstance, yeah. Pretty much just paint a gigantic target on every yeah, higher um, guy's back. Ding, ding, ding. Weekend liberty briefs and car inspections. You really did car Ooh. inspections? Woohoo! Yeah, we did. So every Friday before we would get out of work, if we had a weekend, Right. It, sometimes yeah, we don't. we didn't. We would get everybody from all the troop and we'd all come together. And the first sergeant would come out, the captain would come out, and they'd be like, okay, don't do anything stupid this weekend. Don't go out to Germany and get in a fight. Don't piss off the pole's eye. Don't go home with a hooker. <laughs> all that jazz. Stuff you should already know as grown men that yeah. you have to be told again. Every, and reminded. Yes. Every Friday. Yes. Because there is always one stupid ass private <laughs> that will yes. leave on a weekend and they will come back after said weekend and go, I married a stripper. I got drunk and got married. So now where's my free house? Oh, yeah. Well, that happened. That's so stupid. Oh, are you single? Do you not have anybody with you? Oh, well, go in the barracks. That's where you're going to be. Yeah. Oh, you just decided to marry somebody random? Oh, let me give you a house. Let's give you a house. Nope, don't agree with it. Nope. Especially since my entire, like, my room was probably uh, the end of my computer to the wall. That's, that's, that was, that was my whole room for like four years. But yeah. The army did you good. I did. You came back a whole totally different man. Yeah, I put on like 40 pounds, 50 Whoa. pounds. I got stungy. Got a little fat, but that's okay. Doing operational risk management paperwork for pickup basketball. Okay, so I <laughs> never had this happen, but I've heard about it. So it was literally when they wanted to play, like certain people wanted to play just like basketball. Yeah. They had to fill out a ludicrous amount of forms because it'd be <laughs> like, because if you get hurt, oh. you're not only damaging yourself, you are damaging government property, right. which is also what they told us we couldn't do when we wanted the masturbate okay tmi <laughs> this one is hilarious oh my gosh it, so yeah just filling out just a shit ton of paperwork of every possible risk factor that could happen walking and talking on <laughs> our cell phones uh-huh i walk and talk on my cell phone all the time you're you're standing still well that's that's right. allowed but if you start walking right now 
That's illegal! What are you doing? Yeah, that that was also That was walking and dancing. Again, because it's unprofessional to well, walk and talk on a cell phone. Yes. I actually agree with this because there are a lot of really stupid people that should not be walking and talking on a cell phone because they can't do two things at one time. Think mm. about it. That they don't pay attention to what they're doing. They yeah. are Yeah, no. They're just off in their own little world. All right. I would love to be able to do that when I was in. Yeah. But I get it. Yeah. Certain <laughs> people shouldn't do it. <laughs> but you can't say certain there, people. Yes, I can. There should be an IQ test. It's if they gone. if they can make it into the army and shoot weapons, they should figure out not to walk into traffic with a cell phone. Well, I know, but... But it still happens. It does. Why do I have to suffer? Because stupid idiots are a thing. I, the other reason, which says right here, troops need to be ready to what? salute officers. Oh, of course they do. <laughs> At first, I thought that, like, officers loved to be saluted. Like, yeah. that was their bread and butter. They would wake up, sniff morning freedom coffee, and then just wait to be saluted every day. Yeah. And it wasn't until later that I found out they hate it as much as we do. I started noticing they will cross the other side of the street so we won't have to salute them. Wow. And so I made it my business to cross the street when they cross the street so I can salute them. You're a brat. I was a dick. <laughs> I, like, I watched him. He came at me. He went over, and then I went over. He went back across, <laughs> and so did I. And he's like, Private, what are you doing? And I was like, morning, sir. Checking in and out. Yep. So this... In and out where? Of the base. So, like, if oh. you had to leave the base at yeah. all, it would be... Like, I get that. And this one's kind of okay. No, I agree. They need to know where you are. Yeah, they, they, I mean, as far as, like, making sure nobody else gets on base, that's, like... Either that, or if the base gets attacked, they know you're not on base. So, yeah, yeah, then yeah. you're good. So, that one's okay. I, 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 I get, get that. Yeah. I get that. I know it's dumb, but every job yeah. pretty much has... Hey, like, even is, this, I... It's like a time clock. I, I have to check in with the rest of the boys. Right. On all Discord the all the time. So, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. That's a fine one. Oh, that was it. Oh. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching the end of the video. If you did, you're amazing, and no one can take that away from you. Uh, except no. maybe your parents who have the password to the Wi-Fi. Yeah, me. Like me. Okay. <laughs> what did well, I used to do to you? Bye, everyone. Yeah.